Hello and welcome. Welcome to today's session. Uh, this is Wiz IQ Education Online and the course How to Use Wiz IQ for Live Online Sessions. Today's session is going to start in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's session. This is WizIQ, part of the course on WizIQ Education Online for teachers on how to use it to teach. My name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm going to be moderating this session. Just let me know in the chat box if you can hear me and where you're from. I was just um, writing about a course that I just joined called Ed Start. I don't know if any of you have joined it. Startup 101. Anybody hear about it? Well, it's about active and engaged learning as opposed to uh, just listening and uh, following videos. This is a course where you actually have to do something. So it made me think of today's session because by the end of the session you will be doing something, okay? Because that's what it's about. It's about doing. Okay, so I see we've got someone from Slovakia. Welcome. And I hope that uh, everyone's a teacher, at least uh, for WizIQ. Hello, Galena. Good to see you. Haven't seen you for a long time. So let me know in the chat box if um, you're a teacher. Just write the, uh, the letter T. Okay, T for teachers. Okay, so we get an idea. Teresa. Great. And Patricia. And Joanne, hello Joanne, good to see you. And Jujana, partially. Well, I hope that you intend to teach. If not now, then uh, very, very soon. Okay, you don't have to be a, uh, a formal teacher. Anyone uh, who wants to can share information, which is what teaching is all about. And Professor Oliver from Nigeria. Carol, hello, you're a teacher. All right, so I presume most of you are teachers. Michael Cohen, welcome. You had some questions, and uh, hopefully, we'll get them answered from Switzerland. Is that correct? Oh, Michelle, maybe I mispronounced it. Okay, it came out twice. All right, I understand that. Okay, but it is Michelle, isn't it? It's not Michael. Okay, so let's get started. All right, the uh, the course is called WizIQ Education Online. It's a course, uh, and this is part of it. No, I can't hear you because I didn't give you the mic. But uh, if you've got the mic, I'll pass it around so you can say hello. Okay, so um, Michael, there we go. I just passed on the mic to you. And it's, hello. All right, it's noisy. All right, so if you can just uh, set up your mics, this is really important. We did it last week. Uh, setting up your mics, making sure that you have a headset of some kind. It doesn't matter what kind, you know, that's fine. Okay, a very cheap headset that you use for your phone. Hello, Abdali, Abdalali, um, who's a consultant. You could be a coach. You don't have to actually be a teacher. When I say teacher, I mean someone who shares information. So that's, that's the idea. Hello, Puma. So by the end of the course, you should be able to uh, 
create a course for yourself and schedule classes, add content, and share the information with others. All right, today's objectives is for you to learn how to add content, schedule a class, invite participants to view the content, invite participants to uh, your classes, share your classes with your social networks, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and share, as I said before. All right, if you have any questions throughout the, uh, the live online class, feel free to um, add to the chat box or add to a... Uh, I just sent everybody a message. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I shared a document with you where you can add your questions before the class, next class, before any class. Okay, question and answer, Q&A. Uh, it's, you don't need to have a Gmail account to use it. Okay, uh, you can use it with any account. So let me just share it with you. Okay, there's the link. I'm going to add it to the chat box. I sent it to all the members of the course. Okay, maybe some of you, oh, you can't hear. That's interesting. Anybody else not here? Anyone else not? Whoops. I wonder why it's not working. Hmm. Okay, let me just uh, refresh the class in case you're not. Audio's fine. Oh, is it? Okay, great. If one person hears, then it's not um, a problem on my end. I'm trying to share a link with you that I uh, added to the um, to the course. I'll try again because I didn't go through. Okay, let me make sure that it goes through. Okay, let's try again. Hello, Katie. Okay, there we go. I guess it didn't. Okay, there's the, uh, please feel free to add questions um, throughout so that I can answer them even after the class is over. By the way, you can copy the chat at the end. It says copy chat and paste it anywhere you wish. So the participants of the course, as I was saying, will learn about the features of the WizIQ online class uh, as learners and practice as teachers. Participants will schedule, upload content, and facilitate a live online class. And by the end of this session today, after the class, you will schedule a class and upload content. So the course highlights are scheduling, sharing classes, creating and uploading content, using the microphone and webcam, which we practiced last time, and hopefully we will at the end of uh, today's session. You will use the interactive board you practiced last week, writing tools, videos, and audio. And you'll try out the screen sharing, breakout rooms, polling, and the chat box. Okay, great. I'm glad, uh, Professor Oliver, that you got it. So let's start with your accounts. Uh, I presume everybody has an account. Let me know if you have a teacher account. Okay, do you have a teacher account? Okay, give me a smiley or a thumbs up if you've got my thumbs down if you don't. Okay, so a teacher account. Let me know if you have with a thumbs up. Oh, that's great, Magistra. You're an expert. Wonderful. Uh, Joanne, you're not sure? You might want to go into your... Um, if not... Um, let me just share this with you. You can get a free teacher account, premium, free premium. It's quite new. Uh, it's um, www.wizIQ, wizIQ dot dot 
gmail.com can't see it's a bit small um, academics academic okay that academic okay so there it is um, oh I think I missed the C Ooh, I missed the C okay so let me get it for you so there are no problems I'll just um, there we go it's better if I uh, Sometimes I make mistakes in the chat box on my Mac. Okay, so here we go. There it is. Okay, I made a mistake. Thank you, Joanne. So you can get a free one if uh, you don't work for a school. Let me know in the chat box. How many of you do not work at a school? Okay, let me know in the chat box if you do not work in a school, you have your own business, or you work for, I don't know, some organization. If you don't work for a school, you will need to ask. You don't, Katie. Okay, so if you want to get a free premium account and you're a teacher, um, let me know, and I'll, you don't, like Michelle, uh, and we'll try to get you a free premium account. Oh, that's why, Joanne. Okay, so contact me. Okay, so I see it's quite a few people. Joanne, Raymond, Michelle, and Patricia, maybe some others there. Okay, email me, okay, at Nelly, or just through, um, you know, oh, Teresa either. Okay, so email me. I think that's the best way. Nelly Deutsch at Gmail. That's my easy. Okay, Nelly Deutsch. I think I missed an L. There. I think I got it right. Okay, it's Nelly, N E L L I E. I hope I don't have too many L's there. Deutsch, D U T S C H, at gmail.com. Okay, so please email me and I'll see what I can do to get you a free premium if you're a teacher. But you have to uh, create a class you have to prove that you're using it as a teacher and not just take it for the fun of it okay the idea is to use it okay so the first thing you will find on your account is uh, my stuff teach learn and home if you're a teacher you will see teach if you're not a teacher you'll just see learn okay so you should be a teacher and see teach so that you can when you open up the menu you will be able to see schedule a class create a course upload content and create a test today we're going to um, work on schedule a class and create and upload content okay those two things for today all right schedule a class number one okay you click on schedule a class under teacher okay and uh, you add the title, okay, only 70 characters, so uh, if you have more, they'll just cut. And it doesn't always look good, so it's better to have less than too much, because the title is going to be the link. It's going to be in the link to your course. And then when do you want to schedule the class? Do you want to have a recurring class or a one-time class? If you're going to have a course, you might want to have recurring and then you have to set your time when do you want the class to be okay so you open up the menu and you have to make sure that you have the right time zone my time zone as you can see is EST but you can change it to whatever okay and then about the class you write a description about the class, what is the class about, who should attend this class, and so on. You can also embed a YouTube video, or you can embed the content like I did. I embedded this PowerPoint presentation to the class, or if I haven't, I will. Okay, it will be there. And a YouTube video, you need to embed the code. If you go to YouTube, 
you will find share under share you will see the HTML code that you can copy and paste right here in about the class any questions so far yes uh, magistra it's Nelly IE Deutsch that's correct yes oh I missed the L <laughs> okay thank you that's right thank you for correcting me there all right next okay you want to select if the class is a repeat okay or you want to schedule a single class if it's a repeat number one you can select daily every day of the week you can have at the same time okay or you can have the class every week Monday through Saturday or five days weekly once a week or once every month so you decide how you want the class repeated in number one okay and then the time okay you decide on the time here is and the date when you want to start the classes that are repeated okay they're called recurring classes okay the hour four minutes from zero up to 59 and then of course a.m. or p.m. hello Helena and don't forget the time zone make sure that it's correct and then you decide number two when the class ends after how many classes you want to have five classes ten classes 20 30 50 as many classes as you want so you can either choose when the class ends and then with IQ it's automatic or you can give a date the class ends on and then it'll prompt you for a date a professor Oliver asks when is the YouTube link located I'll show you I'll give you an example very soon okay next who can attend you have two options one you can create a private class or you can create a public class if you create a public class everybody on WizIQ or anywhere in the world will be able to see it and attend the class you have no control over over who comes to your class and you might want to have control because maybe you have a course uh, where people have to pay or it's private if you charge for your class okay so if it's a public class you can also charge money okay up to um, 999 no more and you can decide on how long the duration of the class it could be from 10 15 minutes to 300 minutes and then if you have a course you add the class to the course so I'm talking about scheduling a class next do you want to show the attendee list you don't have to yes or no and then the language of instruction every language is available under this menu this language of instruction menu and then the class type do you want only audio or do you also want webcam I have a class with webcam right now but you can have a class with only audio and then if you have a brand you can add your virtual classroom uh, brand and mine is integrating technology you schedule and you continue to the next page and that is who can attend if it's private then you have to decide or public you want to record the class or not allow attendees to enter with signing up to WizIQ or without if it's private you have the choice if it's public everybody can enter the class and then more information about yourself money you can set the fee to zero or to nine 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 dollars and then the time again now I have 1999 that's the maximum number of attendees that can come to my class because I have an organization okay but this will depend okay on the kind of account that you have and then you add your class to a course if you have a course you don't have to have a course any questions up to now
Sigalina's typing. And Michelle, everything is clear. Great. If you make typos in the chat box, don't worry. We all do. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Great. All right, teaching online. Okay. Once we create the class, we want to launch it. Okay, as you can see, this class, this particular one, is called Teaching Online with WizIQ Live Class. It's a public recurring class. Okay, number one, this is where I launch the class. Here's today's date. Can we share the link with non -wiz? Yes, you can. And if it's a private class, they don't have to have an account on WizIQ Joanne. They don't have to create one, yes. So you launch the class, okay? And then, this is the link that you can share, number two, with your friends or colleagues or family and so on. You can have a class for your family, you know, get together, birthday party. Um, there are lots of ways you can use a virtual class. Doesn't have to be a class, could be a meeting. And then you share it on Twitter, stumble stumble I don't use it very much um, Facebook Google Plus and so on and then number three view recording okay the view recording means that you decide who's going to view the recording okay it's up to you number four you could invite your attendees uh, Number five is attendance and permission. You can give certain people permission only to view the video, and you may not give it to others. It's up to you. Maybe some people didn't pay, so you don't want to give it to them. Class information. This is where I showed you you can embed a YouTube video and add the information about the class, or you can add a PowerPoint presentation. Recordings and class settings, comments, feedback after the class. You can also change the class time or cancel the class at any time. Why YouTube? Um, you can use any, it doesn't have to be YouTube, Joanne. You can use other videos such as uh, Vimeo. I have a Vimeo account. You can use Vimeo. I mentioned, uh, I think in India, they can't view Vimeo. If I'm not mistaken, only YouTube, and in China they can't view YouTube, but they can view Vimeo. And everybody can view Blip TV. So you may use Blip TV too. Okay, it doesn't. And again, you embed the code of the uh, video. Good questions. Keep asking. I'm sure you love questions as a teacher, so I'm a teacher too, so ask questions. All right, teach. Remember, we're under teach because you're teachers. You schedule a class. Now we're going to upload content. Hello, Maria. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today, uh, I just went through scheduling a class and now uploading content to your teacher. Okay, this is the teacher part. Okay, upload content. First of all, these are the different formats. You can add a PowerPoint, a Word document, a uh, movie, audio, okay, and so on. Excel file. Okay, so you choose a file from your computer and then you upload it. You can also embed content. In other words, you can embed a video, YouTube video, Vimeo, or Blip TV, you can embed the code instead of um, adding the link. Okay, number three I showed you. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, Carol asks, how do you share your class recording on Facebook? I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, WizIQ has it, and I'll show you where. All right, so um, you add your information, you add the title, again, just like in scheduling a class. Title is important, it's a must. And then you add the tags, which is also a must. And it's very important to add tags because that's how uh, people will find you and your courses, okay, through the uh, tags. Description of the course, and here you can also embed. 
And then if you have a course, you add it to the course. If not, then nothing will appear here. Okay. Next, privacy. Okay, you decide whether you want the content to be made public or private. Okay, it's up to you. The language of the presentation or the uh, file that you've uploaded, the content. Okay, the language. And you want others to download the file. I usually let everybody download. I don't have any secrets. <laughs> I share everything. But if, um, if your work costs money, in other words, if you created content that you charge money for, then you don't want people to download it uh, unless they pay for it. So uh, keep this box unticked. Don't tick it. And then you upload and continue in number four. I'm giving you a lot of information, but you're going to practice this. So uh, you'll see how easy it is. It's all about reading, just knowing where. Once I add, teach is add, my stuff is what I have. So here's my class, and here is my content. There is a library of all the content. If you upload something, can people see it before the class, or can you keep it confidential? Um, you don't have to share it, Katie, with the class. And if you've added to um, the virtual class. Nobody will see it until the class begins, so it'll be hidden till the class starts anyways. Okay, nobody will see it. Just like before this class, Katie and everyone, you couldn't see anything. You had to wait for the time. But I was here. I had this class open for hours. <laughs> I keep it open and ready. But you couldn't come in, and therefore you couldn't see the uh, content, okay, this PowerPoint presentation. So we've got my stuff. Now we're going to look at my content. Remember in, in the previous page, let me go back to slide number 14. Okay, we're going to my content under stuff, my stuff. Okay. So let's go my stuff. You'll get all this is available in the course. Okay, so uh, you can download this PowerPoint presentation and go over it step by step as you schedule your class and upload content. So here you decide if you want it to be public or private. You can filter and let me show you what the filter is. The filter is how you want them set according to private and public, all. And then my folders, you have folders that you can create and you can um, organize all your files under folders that you decide on their names. So you can create a folder. You see I have a folder called CO12. That's number three. And number three here. Okay, add to folder. I can add this PowerPoint. It's not a PowerPoint, actually. Uh, it's a PDF file. I can add the PDF to my folder. Okay, add to folder. I can add it to my course in number five. And number four, I can edit and delete. Okay, all these things. Okay, so uh, this is just for your viewing pleasure. You'll be able to uh, download this PowerPoint, as I said, and follow it step by step. Okay, the legend. The legend shows the different kinds of uh, Okay, types of files, you can see here. Embed, where you can embed from. Okay, YouTube, Authors, Dream, Scribed, okay, or other embeds. And this is what they look like, okay? So these are the legends, or the icons, as I call them. Okay, the icon with these arrows is, means processing. When you upload content, it takes time sometimes. So you see the processing sign icon. The, the V means, the tick means it's available, this means that it's not available, public and private. Okay, so this is something that will appear on the WizIQ under content, uploading content. Okay, this is an example of a PowerPoint presentation that I shared. Okay, I shared this with everyone. Okay, here's the share. 
I will explain. So number one, download. You see, here is where you download it. Okay, my stuff, download number one. Number two, embed. You can embed all the PowerPoint, or actually all the uh, files to your about the course or about the class. Okay, information on the class, you can embed. So this is very important. You can embed it somewhere else too, on your blog, or um, on Moodle or anywhere else okay so it, having an embed feature is very important number three of course I mentioned share and I'll show you uh, someone mentioned where how can you share it on Facebook for example I'll show you in a minute but here's the share you click on the share number five you can make it larger you can make it full screen so number five at the bottom right hand corner is full screen number four means you can divide it okay the PowerPoint into sections I'll show you that in a minute and number six means that you go see the arrows you go to the next slide as I'm doing right now I'm going to go to the next slide okay the next slide okay here it is so let me show you number one this is what it looks like you see all the slides are right here okay so that's number one okay and number two here we go so number one you click on it number two this is what you get okay so description okay description of uh, the slide the content PowerPoint presentation and then people can add comments but you need to share it before people can add comments and this is how you share all right so this is exciting for everybody because you want to share your work you want people to come and join and um, add comments to your content okay so here is where you share this is how you share first of all you can share with uh, your contact with your WizIQ contacts and I think I have over a thousand in one account 1200 or something so you can make friends and uh, share your PowerPoint presentation with your WizIQ contacts okay and this is how it's done number one you click on share and then this window opens up number two opens up and then you'll see number three which is a list of attendees and I'll show you what that looks like okay here's the list okay the list of attendees I shared my content with four people okay if I want to find someone I can search for their content I can also invite people to my classes or share content with them by entering their email in number four number five I can also write them a message explaining what I'm doing and number six I click on invite contacts okay so this is actually inviting them to view my content and then once you click on invite contacts it'll say invitation sent invitations to view your content you can do the same thing with your classes you can also embed your content okay here is the embed code you copy and paste it and you get it again here is the share embed okay this is information about the class that I showed you before number one two three remember I had the numbers class information this is where you add the YouTube video, the embed code, and anything else you'd like. Okay, so this someone asked me, I think it was Oliver, you asked me how it's done. Uh, so let me go back in case it was too fast. Okay, so here is the class information, class information in slide 23, and then in slide 24, you can see the information right here. Okay, so this is the title of the live class 
and this is about the class and this is where I embed the information or the YouTube video and then I must save if you don't click on save it's not going to stay there okay so remember to save it all right okay so that was my part now your part okay so your week's assignments are there any questions before I discuss what you're going to do remember I said at the beginning that this is about doing okay it's not only about listening because what can you do with that? Not much. Okay, Galena, anybody else? Any qu okay, so let me continue with the task. What you're going to do is you're going to schedule a private, yes, of course, thank you, a private or public class. You could decide if you want to make it private or public. It's up to you. You're going to share the class on Facebook, Twitter, and your contacts on WizIQ. You're going to add the class to Google or your Outlook calendar. And I'll show you in a minute. And then you're going to upload content. You're going to share the content on Facebook, Twitter, and send email and contacts on WizIQ. And everything is through WizIQ. You're going to add the content on class, on the class information page by embedding it. So you're going to do that. Okay, so it's going to be really exciting. Okay, let me see. I wanted to show you. Uh, okay, so let me um, screen share so that um, I can take you to a YouTube video. Okay, let me look for a YouTube video. Okay, so um, let me share. Okay. All right, hopefully you'll see it in a second or two. We want to show you how YouTube, I believe I have a YouTube video on how to embed a YouTube video on WizIQ and on Moodle. So, um, okay, I'm taking you to my videos. Okay, video manager. By the way, I'm also recording this class, and it'll appear on um, my account. My account, let's see, it's going a bit slow. If you see black and only hear my voice, you should be able to see this in the recordings. Okay, so I'm going to go into um, this one, which I think is really important. Okay, it's... Um, how to view a YouTube video in full screen. Okay, so I think it's a good one to watch. So I'm going to get the... Okay, so here's the share. Okay, I hope you can see that. Here's the share. Okay, I click on the share. And I get a link. Plus I get embed. Okay, so I'm going to click on the embed, and then I get, Hello, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to help you, sorry about that, get the most out of your YouTube videos. Okay, then I'm going to copy the embed code, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it in the class. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me go to a WizIQ class. Okay. Here's our class. And I add it to this area. 
In other words, here, I embedded right here. So here's the uh, code. It won't look like much. There's the code. Did it go through? I don't know if it went through. There it is. There's the funny code. Okay, you don't have to understand it. Okay, but that's the code. Now, if I want to add the YouTube video to this class, I take the link. Remember, there was a link and there was an embed code. I'm going to take the link and I'm going to um, add it to this class. Okay, the, into the media. I'll be showing you how to do this next week. Okay, I'll show you how to use the media for um, these virtual classes. Okay, and then I'm going to play this. Okay, here it is. Hello, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to help you get the most out of your YouTube videos. So first of all, you want them in full screen. So there it is, the red arrow at the bottom right-hand side of your YouTube video. Okay, so you get it full screen. Next, the blue arrow for settings. So you open it up again at the bottom right side of the page, and then you get the quality and you choose 360, 240 or high definition 720 and that's what you're going to choose. So enjoy your videos. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, let me know if you can hear me in the chat. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me uh, because I've made some changes here. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Oh, if you can hear me now. All right. Okay, give me a thumbs up if um, the sound is back. When you're showing a YouTube video, you have to make sure that you're wearing a headset, otherwise it'll echo. If, if you want two sounds from your mic and from another source, you must wear a headset. And it doesn't have to be expensive, it could be a very cheap headset. Okay, so make sure you get a headset. All right, so questions. Questions about your homework, your week's assignment, okay? Schedule a private or public class and upload content. Let me see if there are any questions. Um, the questions you can add to the, um, the Google Drive that I shared with you. Or you can add it right now to the chat box. If you remember something else later on, feel free to um, add it later on and I'll answer you. Okay, so um, if you can't think of a question now and you think of a question later, um, I think I just lost the class. No. All right, so here's the, um, here's the link where you can ask questions before next class, during the week, Anytime, okay? Feel free to ask questions there. Why is it better to ask questions there and not to um, send me private messages? Because if you add the questions there, everybody will see it. And if you send me private messages, only you and I will see it. So it's better to think of others. Your video is gone, but I still hear your voice. No, you mean my voice or the voice on the video? Teresa, let me see if, uh, if there's anything remaining. I'll just remove it completely. Okay, let me uh, let me make sure that the uh, that the video is gone. Okay, I'll just delete it so that nobody will hear it. There. Okay, I completely deleted it, and there's no way that anybody can hear it. I don't think. Unless it's still playing in your background. 
which I hope it's not. Okay, Teresa, is it okay? No, don't worry. <laughs> no worries. Okay, no problem about the gaps. Is it okay now? Okay, great. All right, it could happen sometimes because of different connections. People have, some have slower, some have faster. So sometimes, yeah, you must get a headset. Oh, great. All right, so this is a chance. We've got a couple more, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes for questions and for you to try out your mics. Okay, so uh, let me just add again where you can add questions throughout the week. Okay, that's your link for questions. Whenever you need me right away, just add your question there and um, I'll make sure that you get the answer and other people will also see your questions and learn from your questions and the answer. All right, so uh, let's see, Joanne. Oh, Joanne, you don't have a mic. You got a headset, but you don't have a mic. That is, you have to set your mic. Go into the settings just above my webcam and set your mic. How do you get the YouTube? Do you have a YouTube account, uh, Professor Oliver? Uh, there are lots of uh, YouTube videos. How do I get it? I just go, I just write YouTube. Oh, not yet. Okay, so this is a good start. I'm so glad. Um, so you go into YouTube, YouTube. Okay, you write that in, um, you know, in your Google search engine. And then you get all kinds of YouTube's videos. And whatever topic interests you, you might want to check mine. Okay, so um, my account is Nellie Muller. No, it's don't, not in make my classes. It's terrible. Nellie, know all this and still don't dare no 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 more fears maria that's it you're going to create schedule a private or public class that's it okay this is the time okay um the end of 2012 okay so this is your chance no fears everyone's gonna do it okay so schedule a private or public class okay it's a must yes you don't need to be afraid okay so everyone's gonna do it all right anybody else uh, would like the mic professor Oliver I just passed on the mic to you oh you have Joanne um, it says that you don't have anything because maybe your your audio settings are not working hello we hear you how are you That's great. All right, do you have any questions? Yeah, I just have a question. How do you submit your assignment? Okay. How do you submit the assignment? Okay, there are two areas. There's the Moodle. Okay, the Moodle area. And there's also um, the area that I just gave you. You can add your work right here. Okay add it there to the Google Docs okay there we go I was hoping you would invite everybody and then I would know okay see if you create a class if you create a class and invite me I'll be able to see okay I'll be able to uh, see you and the class and the content so actually all you have to do is schedule a private or public class share the content add the content to your class by embedding the content and that's it share it with me okay again uh, I believe you can connect with me uh, through WizIQ let me just add my um, okay the WizIQ and this way I can share your classes with everybody. Okay, so um, with IQ and my 
account. Okay. Now, there are a few ways you can share. You can either share it through the course. Okay, so let me take you to the course because I think that many of you may not have registered for the course. I'm not sure whether you're in the course or not. Okay, so if you go into my stuff in your account, you should be able to get the course. Okay, so why don't you do that now? Go into My Stuff. Okay, let me share it with you. Go into My Stuff and you'll be able to see the course if you registered. If you haven't registered for the course, you can register for it now. You lost my whiteboard? Really? Okay, that happens sometimes when uh, our connections slow down. But you can refresh your page and it should come back. All right, any other questions? Michelle, would love to hear your voice. I'm just going through everybody's hello. Do you have a, a headset? No. No, the audio is not set properly because there's noise. You probably heard the noise. Uh, Joanne, you need to set your audio settings. Just above my head, you'll see uh, something called device settings. You go in there and you set, you find your device. So let's see, uh, McKnight, you also don't have. Hello, Teresa. Hi. Hi. Does my mic work? Yes, it does. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh my God, that's very exciting. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, do you have any questions, Teresa? Yeah, any questions? How important is it to have a How important is it to have a mic? Is it okay to just have headphones? That's an interesting question. Your mic. See, my headset has a mic. Uh, there are other headsets. Well, here, another one. Here, this is a headset too, and it also has a mic. Every headset is supposed to have a mic. You're right. Not every headset has a mic, but you need a headset with a mic. So, thank you for pointing that out. Okay, because I know. Yes, you're right. There are headsets without mics, so there should be a mic attached to the headset. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, Patricia. Let me see if we can get sound from you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Okay, do you have any questions, Patricia? No, 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 thanks. Okay, if you should have questions, add them. Okay, add your questions to the Google Docs that I shared with you or in the class. Okay, you can ask questions there too, actually. All right, Carol, I'm going to pass on the mic to you because you're next on the list. Let me know if you have a question. Teresa asks, does it make sense to instruct participants to mute their mic? Yes, it does make sense, but you can do it for them. But still, they need a headset because otherwise, if you play... A YouTube or any kind of video or audio it's gonna make a lot of noise okay so Carol I don't see that it's going through Galena I'm not giving you webcams today okay just um, I see that Carol maybe your connection is a bit slow today Galena too How do you mute them? Just above my head, there is a... I'm going to show you a little more about this next 
next week about uh, more about setting your mics and so on because we're going to practice. Um, last time we practiced the writing tools. Next week we're going to practice the audio, the video, uh, all the media. Okay, and we're going to practice setting our mics and so on. So uh, we'll be doing that. Yes. All right. I see that uh, Michelle has raised, has a hand. Yes, I think we hear you now. No, it's still noisy. Hello. It's a bit noisy. Yes, I hear you, but it's choppy. Choppy. <laughs> it's very choppy. Uh, maybe your connection is slow, but I don't think so. I think it's because you have the wrong setting. So we'll be practicing that. But you can practice it when you create a class. When you create your class, you can go in ahead of time and practice the settings for yourselves. Okay, anyone else? Um, Abdelali? If you have a headset, we can pass on the mics to everybody, and everybody can speak at the same time, if there's a headset. Hello, Sienna. No, I hear noise coming from Sienna. Yeah, there was noise there, which means that it's not set up properly. All right, if any of you would like to uh, practice setting up and you need help from WizIQ, please send me a message to my email so I can connect you with WizIQ and they can provide you with fast help on how to set up your mic. Again, my email is um, Nelly Deutsch at gmail.com. Okay, it's faster if you send me an email because then I just forward your message to the team at WizIQ and they get in touch. Oh, I forgot the L again. Where's my dear friend who reminded me before? Yeah, I forgot the L. Okay, so it's now, oh yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. Wait, I don't know, for some reason the, uh, the chat box is going really slow for me. So it's Nelly Deutsch. Deutsch is in German, Deutschland. Gmail. Somebody asked me if I teach German. I don't. I just have a name. Nelly Deutsch, gmail.com. Okay, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, Galena. I missed you a lot. Okay, so you got your homework. You're going to do it. Everyone's going to do it. And I'm going to hold your hand. So just... Uh, Email me or go into the, uh, again, the Google Docs, okay, and join the course if you haven't joined already, okay, so join the course, you'll have the PowerPoint presentation, you may copy the chat box now, and then uh, take it with you and paste it anywhere, you know, on a text, Word document, anywhere you wish. I can also share actually how much we have two minutes. I can share the um, the link of the presentation with you as well. If my system will be, it's kind of slow today. Uh, if I go into my stuff and content, I will be able to share the uh, PowerPoint presentation, even though I added it to the class. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. That's, I got it. Let's see if I can make it before the class ends. Okay, because... Uh, am I going to make it back to class? Yes. All right, so here it is. There's the link to the uh, that you can download to the presentation. Okay, even though I added it to the class. Okay. So copy the chat now. Okay, the last one is the, um, you can upload the PowerPoint presentation and follow it step by step. Okay, I think someone has their, um, oh, it's Abdul. Thank you. All right, so next week we'll talk about muting mics, 
how to add uh, to the media, breakout rooms, polling, screen sharing, and everything else. So thank you. You were great. Thank you, everyone. It was a pleasure. And uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now. Enjoy. Enjoy the class scheduling and uploading content. Have fun. That's what it's all about.